There we go. I think... Yeah, that's where I am. Uh, uh, oh, dear. And... Oh, no. Is it on the map? Yeah, it is. Oh, no. There's a Lionel. You know what that means? Uh, crumbs. Right, okay. Well, I'm taking the hover bike with me. I'm also going to quickly put a pin on this light route just so I don't forget it. Oh wow, there's a couple more like the light routes are coming thick and fast here. What am I doing? Here goes off. We go. And yes, we are cheesing this, by the way. It's a silver line all as well, of course. Now, the puff rings make it really easy to take these guys out. Okay, that would have worked if Link actually did a backflip rather than just jumping on the same... Why is Link... What? Why doesn't Link backflip anymore? Oh, wait a minute. I'm not holding the right button, that's why. Okay. Um, yay? Man, they... I'm gonna... I'm, I think I'm gonna stop cheesing those. It, it just loses all... Fun when I'm basically just I mean it saves my weapons but it does feel like I'm losing a lot by cheesing it, it What if I fuse the Savage Lionel Shield with the armor shard of a Savage Lionel? It gets 10 plus attack damage. I should probably start fusing that with my normal sword, shouldn't I? Oh, uh, well. Right, that is a Lionel... 
That's not a cooking pot, it's a Lionel. There we go. Um... How does that take me up to? Four and four. How many of those? I need nine of each, I think. Yeah, I'll need nine of each. One, yeah, three for each piece of gear to upgrade, so... Uh, six, seven more. Yeah. Three, even. <laughs> Technically three more in order to... No, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Took me a long time to get there, but we got there, so five more, and then I've got enough line silver Lionel parts to do the great fairy upgrades, which means I can start using them to upgrade the Master Sword. Right, where's me hover bike? I'm gonna go and do the last light route that I saw. Oh no, those are torches. That's fine. Nope, that's a radiant shield. I've already got that. Okay. Oh, there's two light routes. Of course there is. There's one down here. Okay, I'll do this one and then do the one above it. because of the one you marked. Oh, right. With the light roots. I thought I only need to do two. Oh, well, whatever. This, whatever. More light roots we get, the more we unlock the map. I can't... I'm not going to do all of the things. I did the Lionel just because somebody in chat would probably say, Poke the Lionel! If I didn't, but otherwise... Okie dokie then. So. <clears throat> well, that's most of my hearts back as well. Right, so we've got that light route, so the do, do So Apparently a Fronk's there. And um Yeah, that's it. <laughs> Ah, there's me other bike. Right, one more light route. Which is the one that I marked. Is that orb over there is actually just a eager hideouty thing. Uh is it on the other side of this cliff? Or Oh no, there's one over there. Might be one over there. Oh, we're doing the one I marked. We'll be here all night otherwise. Probably put a light on this as well.
Oh, that's I love that. Ah. Oh, it didn't hit me. Okay, then. Lightning, boy! Himself. No, no idea where this lasted. Light route is, but that's a thing that's solved. Oh well, might as well get some zonite while we're at it. And I will also quickly throw a giant bright bloom seed. Which we have 188. <laughs> there, so at least I have an idea of what I'm doing. Not I ever have an idea of what I'm doing, but still. Dead last so night. There we go. That's some zonite. Okay, so. Uh, okay, we'll go back here and go the long way around on the principle that we might have an easier time of it. Um. Oh, give me a minute, I'm just checking some. That's done. Right, that's fine. So, oh, I mean, that's the time as well. That's the light route I'm looking for. Well, I just got some zonite, so why not? Nine. I suspect we'll probably spend some of the next stream, most of the Saturday afternoon stream, if I'm streaming, which I hope I am, Doing the depths anyway, because I'm going to have to farm Zonite, and I'm going to have to do Light Roots and Mini Bosses. And I should probably farm Pose. And we should probably start looking into getting some more of the extra gear, not that I particularly want to, because that means I'm going to have to start farming more resources out of the map, and this game is going to take forever. But oh well, if nothing else, I can say that I am an expert on Tears of the Kingdom, for I have experienced everything this game has possible to offer. As I trawl into every piece of lore, etc, etc, etc. Then too, maybe I will be a game theorist. Not that I'm not already, considering the amount of Zelda theories I've blasted off on this channel over the last two Zelda games anyway, but you know. I think I probably threw out a few in Skyward Sword and all. That is the official sound effect of the light route. Yes. Ah. 
I don't even know if the mini boss is required for the 100%, but considering they've got a little defeated star next to them, I'm guessing they do. Right, okay, so we've done that light route. There's no heart stuff for us to unlock, but there is a thing, mini boss to mark there. And that's it. For the moment, I don't see any major light routes around, to be honest. Apart from the vast quantity of mini bosses we've done in areas that we've already traversed. Bruno doesn't doesn't seem to be doing too sh No, don't do it, Ezio. For the moment it this part of the map doesn't seem too bad. But yeah, that's the depths. We certainly need to uncover more of the depths. Right, so while I'm at it, there's Hyrule Castle, there's Hyrule Fold. Right, that is going to be uh the Nehru, that'll be Zora's Domain, that'll be Death Mountain, that'll be Akala. That's fine. Hebra, we've not done too much with. So we need to basically explore a lot around there. There's, there's a bit of Hebra, but we need to do more of the Hebra stuff. This is all Gerudo, that's the Gerudo Highlands, so we'll have to get that done eventually. That is all of the southern states, so I'm not going to be too worried about that because we haven't even done them on the overworld yet. That central Hyrule, which is slightly concerning because I've got that massive swathe of stuff that I just haven't done in central Hyrule, which makes me think either I've missed... The entrance to a chasm. I'm going to quickly check on the dungeon map. Or. I. Oh, hold on a minute. I have. I think I tried finding this before and I couldn't. Now I'm curious. Okay. One more. Just, just one more. I want to find out what this chasm is. Hyrule Castle Moat Eat East Chasm. Now, either this is going to be on the surface and I've just completely missed it. Or it's going to be like the um, Rito one, and it's going to be in a cave. There's no caves listed on this part of the map. What am I missing? It'll be story locked, surely. Forest Park. Silver Moblin with a bunch of stuff. It must be underground. Not underground, underground, but I don't think anything's really story locked except the temple. In which case, I am missing something big.
thing is, it doesn't look like there's anything here. Love a right, okay, give me a minute. Um the interactive map say about it? Nothing. Piss off, Ganon. Hmm. East Tyrol Castle Moat Chasm. My full name it will appear normally on any map. You can see the uh, East Hyrule Chasm. Sounds simple enough against the chasm. It's not so. Nearest fast travel point we suggest is the separate shrine. Coordinates blah 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 blah. Head southeast from the shrine until you reach coordinates 01020882 and very coordinates to the edge of the cliff. Jump off the cliff and open links glider. Keep down the side of the cliff. So it's going to be a hole in the cliff then. Okay, sure. So zero one zero two eight eight two. Oh, there we. Oh, it's another Rito village. Okay, that makes sense. All oh, right, heal as well, I suppose. Uh, thanks, game. <laughs> oh, wow, forty two. Uh, blue, white, Bronx? What the... I got a photo of you already. Okay. Hey, that worked, but it didn't.
Oh, I give up. Right. No, okay. The game doesn't want me to do that either. Oh, could you stop, please? No, you're not going to stop. Okay, fine. There goes all my furries as well. Right, come on. That's our first death in a while. 117. Well, we can't die ever again. Marvelous. <laughs> What have I got in terms of heavy hitters? That was a really annoying boss, and I don't know why. Oh well. Evidently, we faced one of them before, but still, God. That was very annoying. Right, usually these guys are hanging out around Bronx thingies. 
If you go into his mouth, you're gonna have a bad time. Yeah, I, I, I noticed that. Cheers. <laughs> I don't see any mining spots, so I assume that's all the zonite I'm going to get off him. Oh, no, never mind, I stand corrected. Yeah. Oh, right, I should also probably mark that as a prox. Furnace, it's been several streams and that was our first death. And I've got three furries left. Game must have restored me to a point before they all dispersed. Marbles. Okay then. I have to go and double check for some later, but still. Oh wait, no, I stand corrected, that X is not the location of a piece of gear, it is telling me that's where I last died. Marvelous. It takes you back to the start of the fight if you die during... Ah, fair enough, I thought I had four furries though. Oh, I must be remembering wrong. Or oh, I burnt through one earlier and I don't remember. Oh well, it is what it is. There we go, that's the light route. First of the light routes for an area of the map that I really should have explored area earlier, which I have not. Blue white Bronx, yeah, that's marked. Oh, that's why I couldn't have got here. It's because it's its own special island. Uh well, at least I've got an easy location to farm some zone. I. Yep, yeah, there we go. And there's the fronks, uh, there's the thing. Right, marvellous. So, zoom out a bit. Yeah, there is... Castle. There's the light route. So, I've still got that entire swathe of area to do. But that very much looks like I've not done it because I've not got the light routes, more so that I've not found a chasm, whereas I have found the chasm, and on the next thing I've got that. And I've now got 44 and 11. Oh, you know I'm going to try it, don't you? Right. One more thing. Sound like a character. Well, I can't. I've never played the game. But I do know of a character in Red Dead Redemption 2 whose whole thing seems to be one more job. <laughs> Sounds like me at this point. What's one more thing, Columbo? It is... I want to see if I can get another battery pack. And we can. Dutch says that line. That's it. That's the character then. Yep, Dutch sounds right. Okay, and the quickest way to do this is to go and visit our dear friend in this chasm over here. How's your gran? She's fine, she's on the mend. Thanks for asking. On the mend. They're keeping her in hospital for a few more days. And then she's being released to a nursing home. Of our choice. For a couple of weeks just to get her fully well again. And then she'll be off home. Oh yeah, she's doing well. You must have watched Columbo with her. Nope. Never seen, never watched Columbo, not often watched television with my gran. 
Palumbo seems like a show I'd enjoy. I've just never got around to watching it. Get producing, droid. Please. There we go. Free energy wells. Boodabop. Wing. There, it's turned blue now. Awesome. Right, so that's another thing we've done. And now we are, instead of going back to Hyrule, we're going back to the depths. Not to the... All the... Um... Uh, ooh, left or right? Um, we'll go there. Uh, well, it's not more of a crime mystery, but more of how do you get caught mystery? Because it shows you the who done it at the beginning of every episode. Fair enough. Fair enough. Right, and with that, we will... Hello. Oh, I've got one Sage of Spirit as well. Um, with that, we will save the game. Then save... Then save the game. And then we will continue this next time. And there we have it. Uh, 534 Korok Seeds done. 44 Light Roots, 100 Shrines. Not bad. Not bad. Well, there we have it. So, we're getting there. All right, how many shrines are in this game? 140? So, we've got about 40 shrines left. So, we're, what, about two-thirds of the way there, easily. We're over halfway there with the Korok Seeds. We're halfway there with the story. Uh, no, we're near halfway there with the Great Fairies, but it is what it is. We need to do a lot more in the depths. So, I think Saturday's stream is going to be a lot more of us going around the depths, fighting mini bosses and uncovering light routes. Joy of joys. We'll see how long it takes before I get bored of that. Then back to the Gerudo Desert to do more Korok seeds. And then. New area, I suppose. Probably Gerudo Highlands, but we'll see. But anyway, with that said, if you're new here, hi, I'm Ezio. It's a pleasure to meet you. If you enjoyed what you saw, well, I'd really appreciate it if you'd hit that follow button, but the decision will always be yours. If you ever want to catch me live, well, I'll be right back here on Saturday at 2 o'clock UK time, all being well, as we continue our journey into the world of this certainly interesting game. If you've ever missed any of these streams, if you want to catch up with our journey into the world of The Legend of Zelda Tears of the Kingdom so far, you can find every one of them uploaded to our YouTube archive, which is linked in the panels down below as well as on our website, intothevortex.co.uk. Where, on both of them, you'll find playlists of every game, every journey, as I call them, that we've ever been on here on this channel, including the previous game, The Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild, which we did to 100%, full completion, and the DLC, all in master mode. That was certainly an interesting six months, but there we go. Um, I think that's everything. Everything apart from a thank you to each and every one of you. Be you a chatter, be you a lurker, be you watching live here on Twitch or in the YouTube archives. Thank you very much for joining me on this journey this evening. Thank you for joining me as we've travelled through the world of this interesting game. And most of all, thank you for spending a little bit of your life here with me on the channel. It means the world. It always will do. And it always does. Now, let's see if we have enough to pay the good vibes forwards. Though, in fairness, if I was smart... Yeah, I'll be smart for a change. I'll just call it here. So, with that said, with that done, to each and every one of you, May you all have a beautiful evening, morning, or afternoon, wherever it is around this whole wide world you are. And as always, until our paths next cross again, the Vortex awaits. And I'll see you all next time.